Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm my the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Um, when you were a kid in like elementary school, did you did you read a lot of books? I know in, in elementary school they make you read a lot of stuff. Were you a reader like on your own, or did you only read stuff like school made you read? Or? Only stuff school made me read. Did you ever read like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or any of those books? Uh, no, I don't, I, I will tell you the truth, Jonas, that of the assigned reading work that I've ever been assigned in school, I've completed maybe a third of it. Oh, right. Is this even like in college? <laughs> in college, I, well, in college, they don't make you read books. They made you read textbooks. Honestly. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. That I don't mind sense. reading a, te- funny enough, I don't mind reading a textbook as much as I do a book that is like fiction. Oh, I, I can't. I hate it. I can't. I can't do fiction anymore as much because the second there's a little bit of a lull, I put the book down. Like I'll read like I'll read like um, books that are more like, and I, I guess self help books, but not yeah, like yeah, yeah. like more like here's stuff about life. Here's things about th- like that stuff's interesting to me. Cause I'm like, Oh, I never thought about that perspective on yeah. this or that or the other. Right. I would definitely have a better chance of reading something like that. Something that's more instructional, something that my mind can like, I think that's like the man, the men mentality anyways, that were logical. So we need something that's like, okay, that makes sense that I can see. How I can apply that to myself or I, or to a certain situation. And that's why it's like textbooks, easy yeah because you're like they're that. meant for learning right exactly. like yeah yeah but if i'm just reading like like uh like the lord of the rings right like i'm just nah, like dude nah. it will and i also can't picture stuff in my head nah. so like reading a book and people are like well can't you just see the scenery and the description i'm like i don't see any of that dude i yeah. like i i read the story and i know what's happening but like it's boring yeah 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 so, so. I, I would say last book i ever read though iceberg slim uh pimp oh the name of the- Absolutely amazing book. I read it in a weekend. Fastest I should, uh, I've ever I should blown actually, through. Let me put that on my list. Uh, the books that I the, need to. The fastest I've ever blown through a book. It was so entertaining, so insane, a thrill ride, <laughs> and, and it's short too. What's it called? Ice, it's called uh, Pimp Iceberg Slim or Iceberg Slim. So but <laughs> well, I it's guess the insane uh, man, insane. The the, uh, the reason I brought this up, yeah, 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 yeah. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Willy Wonka. You know, yeah, it's not a movie. Very, very like famous story. Well, the the, the author of the, those books is uh, Roald Dahl, and okay. he has a bunch. He has a, quite a few books from back then. Um, those, uh, the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the Great Glass Elevator, those books. Well, I guess. <clears throat> And they're and they're popular books that kids read, and they're a lot darker than the movies are. They're not yeah, really like yeah, yeah. you know <clears throat> uh, as family friendly. But I guess they're rewriting his books and taking out because he would describe kids as fat and ugly and <laughs> stuff like that, <laughs> and like uh, and even like the Oompa Loompas, like they, yeah. they're described as like just like little people or little persons or something. They were supposed to be like pygmies. There was some there was some racial connotation yeah, that yeah. was so, a, so they're, uh, left out of the original movie as well. Yeah, and just because like you know, nowadays people are trying to be more like accepting and like whatever. So even like I remember Augustus uh, Gloop in that book, he was yeah. just kind of like a big fat kid and the yeah. whole thing was he was just gluttonous and disgusting yeah, and like yeah, yeah. they're like extremes of characters, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, like yeah. who uh Veruca Salt was like super bratty and like over, you know, over the edge. Right? Yeah, it was kind of like top. a deterrent. If anything, don't be a Veruca Salt. Don't be an Augustus right. Gloop. Exactly. It's like they, they almost represent the uh, gluttony and greed and things. Yeah. You know, they, they're like the seven. And, but be, like, be more like Charlie's a cisgendered, uh, toe-headed, <laughs> blue-eyed. <laughs> Were you ready to say Aryan? Like, no, is that what was coming out of your mouth? I was, I was like, wow. I was going away from that, but you, <laughs> your words now, you brought it up. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, but now they're like, they're, they're, they want to go back. Like, so I, and the thing I think is weird about this and how they like want to ban books and do all this stuff is like, so these books were good forever. And I understand it was a different time. Here you know, we go. Th- things go in and out of like what's acceptable and what isn't. But why not just use new books? Why rewrite old books? So you're like, I still love your story. But yeah, I don't like yeah. that you call the kid fat. Like, just yeah. if it's either like, take it or leave it. Don't rewrite the guy's books, right? Like, uh, it, it, so I, it, I don't get it. It's like just find new books that kids can read that aren't like that, this, rather than yeah. So now this is this is interesting, Jonas. Right? This, it's an interesting because topic. It's uh, it's not the first time that this has happened. Mm-mm. I mean, they took guns out of ET, if you recall. 
Oh, I don't even remember that. Yeah, but yeah. So the guns were replaced by walkie talkies when ET reshowed. I think in it was in the two thousands. I think it was maybe about five years ago, ten years ago, something like that. Either way, that did happen. Um, it, they vaulted a bunch of uh, what do you call that? A bunch of the uh, Warner Brothers old cartoons because of some of the connotations, or they actually started like putting disclaimers in. Where where does it stop? Where does it stop, Jones? When are we going to stop taking these literary arts, arts and softening them up for, for the people nowadays who have a problem yeah, well, with, and, and, with and some I, uh, imagery or some words that were used? My, my thought is, if you're going to vault it, I understand why. <laughs> um, but, so it's still available to you if you want to read it, but it shouldn't be a part of anybody's curriculum. Right, like, I don't understand why, the, like... If you don't like how it was written, why do you want the story still told? Like, like you can find another story that doesn't have all that stuff in it, right? Like, so you just say, "Hey, we're not going to teach the, this this book anymore." Yeah, it's it, it's uh, it's because it's a classic, and you feel like it should be revered. You feel like uh, why tear down the statue when it's heritage, right? <laughs> is that what you're trying to say? No, not at all. Like, <laughs> what I'm saying is. Either take it for what it is or take it out of your thing, right? Like, it's like people are like, that's why people are like, yeah, having the statue of this, of this Confederate person, like, yeah, we're going to take it down. Like, they're not, they didn't like, it's not like they just changed it to take the hat off the guy and be yeah. like, oh, he was better when he didn't have a hat on. Like, exactly. no, just take it flipping down. Take the goddamn book out of circulation if that's what you want to do with it. Yeah. Like, but don't like rewrite it because you want the value of the story to still be there. Like just find another goddamn story. I'm, I'm a, you know what Jonas? All right. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I can give you my conservative look on it yeah, because yeah, I'm, right. I'm the podcast conservative and I've accepted that role. Uh, I actually watch Fox news. Um, I, I'm going to tell you from my real point of view. Okay. This is this is male this is, and male and not TNT TNT. No. This is real you. This is my government name me. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> this is me, government name. All right? all right. Characters are off right now. Only for... my mama can use this name. <laughs> all right. I don't care. It does not. I don't understand the people that get bent out of shape about us changing these things and and re-releasing movies or what books go into school. It doesn't make sense to me. I I can I can one hundred percent say is that there's been very few books that I've read in my life that have that have been fiction that have affected me in today's date. And like besides, like maybe I have a taste for that that IP. I just don't understand why people are making such a big deal out of it. I don't understand why people don't want people to read Mouse and, and stories about inclusion in schools. Who cares? If anything, it's just a benefit for everybody to get those topics out there. If nobody's, I don't feel like anybody is, has some ulterior motive in trying to change your kids' outlooks on things or change the public's outlook on things. They're just supplying a medium that was never provided for certain topics in the past. Those topics are going to keep coming up in literary arts and they are soon going to become a part of our history. So we need to just be like, fine, let them exist. And if a different version of it wants to exist that's more digestible to somebody, let that exist too and just shut the fuck up. So what you're saying is like in this situation, have let the original book still be out. And if you want to create another version that's more fine, go right woke or friendly yeah. or whatever. Fine, go ahead. Whatever. And just you, you read what you want. Yeah, the other one's available too. If you want to be the parent that's like, no, we're not getting that version. Well, of how do you Factory. feel about like schools making you read it? Which one should they make you read? Uh, I mean, if it, it, like honestly, in school you generally get a choice. I remember when I was in school, I got a choice between the Time Machine, did not read it, or I got Lord of the Rings. Everybody read Time Machine because it was like 200 pages. I decided to read Lord of the Rings. It was 350 pages, and <laughs> no, I absolutely I, loved well, it. Well, no, I guess what I mean is— And now I play Dungeons and Dragons on Sundays. Yeah, there you go. But what I guess I mean in this situation is if, if the school was like, hey, we're reading Charlie and the Chocolate Factory in class, which version do they give the kids? 
the woke version or the or the old or the old school like I think they should have, potentially racist and hurtful version. They should have supplied both versions of it. Uh, I think. But how can they talk? Because the story, I guess, is the same. Yeah, just I say they supply both both versions of it, but you should also have an option of a different book if you don't want to read either one. Yeah. Oh, I could. I mean, and I could almost see it because you're getting the same story. Yeah. It's just with different verbs. So I mean, I guess they could like leave it up to the parents. Like, hey, we're reading these books this year. Yeah. Do you want your kid to get the original version? Mm -hmm. Or do you want the updated, like, more politically correct version? It's just, it, it, I'm just, it's, it's so insane. It's like continuity is not going anywhere. Some words may be changed. And then I question anybody who's getting pissed off about it, look in your Bible. You think that shit's the original? It ain't. Shit's been changed. Shit was changed by English kings years ago because he didn't like some of the words in it. You take that shit to church every Sunday and read that. All the books take have been Take it to changed. church. Exactly. Yeah, well, Tons I mean, of books isn't have been that, changed. I mean, and I'm completely ignorant with the Bible stuff, but isn't that like the Old Testament, the New Testament? Wasn't that just like a rewritten version of the old book? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how that works. I just know because <laughs> when people talk about it, they're like, oh, that's Old Testament stuff where it's all like fire and brimstone. And now it's not <laughs> like as like bad, I guess. It, was, I it wasn't written in like the Renaissance era or anything. It's all historical. Um, if that's what you're asking. No, I mean, like, like the, but I guess like the, it's like the same book, but like the vibe is different, right? The vibe is different. Yeah. yeah but yeah. that's, so that's like a rewrite. I mean, <laughs> it's a continuation. It's like, so the, there's not, it's the second season where they had more funding. But it's the same stories or it's just more? It's more? Oh, so it's not the same stories written again in a new Whoa, way. Oh, you don't know shit about the Bible. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, like, I'm not joking at all. I know nothing. <laughs> You're like, wait. So the New Testament is it? The... <laughs> you thought the New Testament was the, the what? The, like, the, the Old direct... Testament rewritten. It was the director's cut or some shit? <laughs> like it was just like they took what? it and they rewrote it. No. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, what I no the New Testament is just more season of two. More, it's more stories, but it's, oh, oh, that makes it's sense. It's kind of after Jesus dies, so you know. Oh, so the Old Testament is up until his death. And the Vague, New vaguely, vaguely, oh, okay. vaguely. Okay. Yeah, I learned, though. I, when um, I say I don't know nothing about, I literally don't know anything. I, I, yeah, I, what I was referring to is that there's a difference between like the original texts that were written by Palestinian Jews right. versus the King James version versus the NIV version versus the. There's so many different the collegiate version gotcha. of, of Bibles that. If you take them in, the wording is going to be a little bit different through interpretation. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Cool. Well, anyways, go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. We out.